There's no point in cleaning it. You just blow it off until it's done. It lasts about two weeks. I mean, if you blow it off, it'll be right back. Look at this. It's crazy. If you got allergies like I do, digitals. Sometimes I forget our numbers to which house. <clears throat> Look, check this out. New mist feature. Let's see if you can see it. It'll turn the pool fucking green. You can see it coming in. See them? Those are the baby pine cones, man. That's where I was burning last night. Anyway, man. This is my temp. My office is normally outside, but since uh, can I turn this on? Yeah, I do. Oh, sorry. I do like this though. Maybe oh, lots of these things are just. Antiques, man. <clears throat> oh, my wife has been buying antiques her whole life. That was like our first hobby together. It's my son's room. It's a guest room. Let's see what's going on. There's probably a mess in here. <clears throat> like this is from 1918. Old Tiffany lamps. Start piling up shit. We have a couple rooms in there just filled with. Uh, <clears throat> you start buying too many old doorknobs, little things, man. These are really old. We're really into that. My house in New Orleans is 203 years old. This is where they used to have old phones. They used to have uh, uh, ironing boards like that too. So this house isn't that old, but for Texas it is. It was built in the 20s. It was an old row house actually in Houston for workers and moved them over. I mean, if you look, you can tell the difference. Like you can't really match that home. You can make it look just like it, but it won't be the right size. Like I'll show you ones that I did. But then look, see, that's the original. It was just plain, you know, it's just, that's just a one by four, man. Right? <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? We added all this. A house like this wouldn't have any of that shit. And this used to be a doorway. So this trim was made. Notice this trim, right? But now come into the original part of the house and notice. Let me turn the light on. You see any, <laughs> there ain't no, yeah, and look, those aren't trimmed out. Notice them? But these I did, you know? See? But look, none there. Should have done them all. Should have done a quarter of an hour. Should have done that. Like in there. But that's how you learn, man. Right? And if you look, it's just a lot of paint over it. So this is a one by six. You buy that board right there at Home Depot. That's just trim, you corner it. Well, fuck, man, you got years of paint on it. And look, it just looks, please, this is just a door that I had. And you can see some of my early, shittier work. Look. <laughs> but, I mean, we had to leave a spot for that. So, you know, it's just to have a little keep the dogs out kind of thing, man. <clears throat> look at this thing. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe it's like <clears throat> I'm becoming the old person. You know? I don't know. But I, we used to go to old people's houses and I would think everything was so cool. Man, I'd want to. That's where we bought a lot of this. That's from like 1910. And then we got into chairs. So watch this shit. 
That one's not that old. I got into clocks for a minute. This fucker here is though. <clears throat> and this table here is really old. It's very, uh, you know, a lot of this old shit's a pain in the ass too, man. That's from the 50s. We buy these at auctions. This used to go down to dirt, man. Through the store. They're skeleton keys, man. Yeah. So this used to go down to dirt. This is grass. It's a very small house. So I originally built steps, man. <laughs> no bullshit. They had this weird steps that went down. So I built steps, replaced them, and then um, hired a dude to make a little porch, and these went down to the porch. <clears throat> and then as I started, I need to take trash out, as we would have extra stuff from jobs. So th and then it was a bigger porch. And then it was screened in. And we took the framing from the screen in and put windows. <laughs> I mean, it's just one layer on top of a layer. It's scary. Built this from leftover wood from a rental house. Trimmed that out. Just cord around. This this wasn't here. You can see what we do with that. Some of this, a lot of this is just leftovers from rentals. These too, man. Just started building them. And as I'd have leftovers, I just keep adding to it and building it. All that is an add-on. When I needed to rent an office and I really just need a space for myself... I just had them build me a house on my land. So it's a little house, man. It's like a 800 square foot home, but that's my office. Pay cash. <clears throat> that's all an add-on. See the old tin roof? Look, nothing fancy. Like go down to my New Orleans house, they try to trick them out. This here is just old and it's just country, man. It's just simple. Oh, sorry. It's just simple, you know? What's up, bro, security cameras? I had to add another AC unit over the years as the house, as we made it bigger and bigger. So like my library and bedroom and all that shit, those are all add-ons. We added all of this. We did this just trying to figure it out for fun. Yeah, so this is just rock and mortar with some mesh around it and uh, sits on concrete and the deck was built around it, man. I know this looks like shit. We'll take these covers off and wash them once pollen season's over. Boom, spray it, get all this cleaned up. You guys know I do a lot of talks out here. Um, this deck did run all the way. I got tired of fucking repairing that. Everything's dying in Texas, dude. You know, yard goes for a ways. I'm on three acres. All these trees, I just left them so I can't see the neighbor. And, you know, my property runs. We've, and it goes back there. I don't, I don't even know who the fuck lives back there, man. I like having separation between me and people. When I was younger, having a big ass yard like this, fuck man, you get old, it gets hard. Look, it's a nice little drop. Used to have steps going down. Got tired of fucking repairing it. It went all down there. We used it for leftovers, man. I had decks going. It was like, all right, all right, we're getting fucking crazy. And uh, it was fun though. That's how you learn to work on shit. My neighbor helped me make those corners. He was a wood worker guy. And you know, if you see what I did, they were just two by sixes. Those are one by four frames that he helped me make it a little fancier. We built that and that was, you know, all it costs is time and labor, man. They should really be into plants. Of course, it's winter time right now. I got these Buddhas all over the yard. <clears throat> i tell you, one of the reasons, and I'll be honest with you, one of the reasons I never moved out, I started making more money. I was like, man, we could go get a house out on the lake. We do this, we could buy that. And I'm like, man, or I could just pay my shit off. Let's do that. And then I was like, man, we need more room. We can sell the house or fuck it. Let's just let's just pay somebody and give them half, you know. And so I just paid cash, man. I just kept building and building and building. And just never moved. You know, I had a guy tell me, Oh, you're building out of the neighborhood. Who gives a fuck? Man, I'm gonna be here my whole life. They're gonna give me money for it, man. Tax free. First five hundred thousand dollars of your home is tax free. So, you know, and I hear gurus say, you know, your home is not an investment. I get what they're saying. You know, they want to emphasize to you that your personal home is actually costing you money. You are not pulling in money, but your home can be valuable, man. So I, as long as you're doing other investing, 
your homes are your investments. I bought a house in the French Quarter. It's worth money, okay? I have a paid for a beach condo. It's worth money. This house on three acres, 4,000 square feet, four it's worth money. Paid for. It goes up. They're for my personal use. Well, guess what? Those guys buy fucking cars. Those guys buy suits, watches. I buy houses. You know, I like having castles. You know, we're doing some moving to our other stuff. And, you know, we keep taking some things, not taking things. I got, you know, so I got a lot of guitars. Here's some chairs from the 50s. These are cool. My wife and her heating blanket. Crazy. You see, I live simple, man. I got my little work out there. Look, there's my whiteboard. I whiteboard stocks every night. No bullshit. That's my wife. I'm reading all of these books simultaneously. It just depends on what I'm thinking. So let's see what I got here. What do you got by your bed, homie? Let's see. You got weights. You got feathers. <laughs> Dumbbell. Oh, look. You don't have to die broke. It's a miniature version. Look. Atomic Wealth. The Wisdom. The Master. These are just beside. I'm always going through those. <clears throat> Inner Voice of Trading. You don't have to die broke. I wrote that one. I got my own books by my bed. <laughs> Getting rich. You are badass. Of course I am. My own writings. Look at money, 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 money. Get rich, trade money, money, make money. Fast forward 24 years, you make money. What you think about comes about, what you focus on grows. I have people, man, I'll have people say to me, this is what they'll say. There's more to life than money, Gerald. You got to find a sense of personal me. I'm like, bro, you misunderstand what I'm doing. If I owned a restaurant, nobody would come up to me and say, there's more to life than food, man. But when it comes to money, people get weird, bro. They act weird. They handle it weird. They do it weird. Because people have some sort of weird relationship with money, man. This is the house I sold to get my beach condo, huh? They did it nice, man. It shit looks nice. Proud of them. I'm happy about that. I sure hope it wasn't going to go to crap, man. Because I've had that happen before. All right, I own a bunch on this street, man. You know how I got them? Just got off my ass and went and bought them. Seriously, that was the big secret. Big secret. I get up every day and I check the MLS. Oh, how are we ever going to learn that secret? You know, it's called Seriously, work. that's the big secret. It's called work. I put an offer on that house to do beat. I put in offers on tons of these houses. <clears throat> we had a leak, a leak here the other day. Now, remember, when I buy these houses, they don't look this nice, guys. I'll spend five, six months. I don't borrow the money to fix them. I don't pay cr crews unless I absolutely need a crew. <clears throat> so, all I do is I go back and work, and I was mowing yards, and as I made money, we'd go up to Home Depot and buy shit, man. You know, a lot of times you buy paint. Well, fuck, that's going to keep you busy for the next two weeks. Plus, you're going to work and make money. So, everything I made... Me and my wife invested in it. Everything. God damn it. They walked on the porch. Yes, 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 man. Welcome back to the channel, Gerald Peters. Hey, listen, always remember, whatever it is you think about comes about. Whatever it is you focus on grows. That's why I tattooed the money flow on my hand. You see it on my truck, my notebooks. It's always on my mind, man. I'm trying to help people make money. That has been my obsession most of my life. I never wanted to go to college. I didn't want to own a big business, but I would. I mean, I'll do what I got to do, man. I don't, you know, but here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make money with money. And I learned that from a guy that if you do aggressive investing, and you study markets and you understand flips and you understand taxes and equity and out and managing assets and you understand appreciation and the tax code. You don't have to do this game where I'm gonna work a long fucking time, get weekends off and retire and then probably be broke. You don't have to do that, man. You really don't. I'm living fucking proof. I am not smart. You guys see that. So if you go to my Instagram, and hey, if you follow me on Instagram, man, help me out, man. Get on my paid Instagram group. It's only $9.
I'm out here. This is what I'm trying to do now. Bake motherfuckers to follow me. No, I'm kidding. I bought this house in 2008 during the great crisis. Eh. I didn't know there was a crisis. You know why? Because I fucking ignored it. It don't apply to me. Okay? I, I decide what I do. I decide when I get up, when I go to bed. You decide. You do not have to participate in any fucking recession. If you learn the stuff I talk about, how to managing money, getting debt free, putting your money into assets that appreciate or cash flow, you're gonna what you're gonna do is you begin to build a moat around yourself. The reason I want to be debt free, so when when recessions come and these guys over here feel it, I don't feel it. I'm not gonna lose my truck, man. I might have to park it because I can't afford gas, but I own the truck. I'm not gonna lose my house. I'm not gonna lose my office for my business. I'm not gonna lose my beach house. I'm not gonna lose any of my stocks. I paid for them. I know how to use debt and leverage. Shit, I got an 800 credit score. I could go borrow a million dollars. And some of you can too, and probably can, and you're just scared. So when I bought this, this was not very nice. $89,000, what I really liked was this double lot. Cause you could expand here. You could either add parking, had a, it was already zoned for a building back here with water and that was kind of falling apart. But throughout the neighborhood, nobody had a yard this big. So the new dam in the future, man, some family's gonna buy this. They're gonna like it. Dad have his shop or mom or whatever. Got the house, big parking lot. Kids can play basketball. So I, whenever I buy a property, I try to, is there something, is there a value add after me? I mean, it doesn't make sense for me to put a, you know, a concrete driveway all through here and all through here. But if I own this motherfucker, I would. And you saw like at my house, I bought a house where I invested my time and money into the thing. Every one of these deals, you think I'm gonna sell this for 89? I mean, I'm gonna sell this for 210, 220. It's been what, eight years? Oh, by the way, I collected enough rent since then. <clears throat> I don't have a mortgage on it. Bada boom, bada bang. How long did it take you to make 210,000? You see what I'm saying? That's just one of a bunch of things, man. That house back there, 118 dividend stocks. I was saying today, on the, uh, if you go to my Instagram, go watch my story. I was saying that total, I make about $261,000 from passive streams. One house at a time, one a year, nothing fancy. I didn't do any of that bullshit. I didn't have any courses. I didn't have any mentorships, none of that stuff. I just bought ugly houses and I worked on them and I didn't know anything about the burr and I didn't do any of that. I just bought materials and I worked on it and I fixed it and then I put a render in it and I moved on to the next one. And I knew if I got a lot of houses, I just, I would have a lot of money. That's just common and fucking people sense. People worry about getting their numbers right so much. It don't even matter, man. I got houses right now. I got, you know, I got three for myself. I'm paying money on them. I'm going to make money off them when I leave there, man. You're going to lose money no matter what. If you leave it in checking, it's gone to inflation or your wife spends it or this happens, that happens. I'm trying to get rid of my cash, my money. Every day I get money, every day I invest. You know, Bitcoin's been going down. I started buying, boom, immediately, you know. SoFi, stocks go down, boom. We need to buy some immediately. How much? All my money. I don't need cash, okay? I need assets that produce cash because then I can take that cash to get more cash and it creates a perpetual cash machine. So I'm not looking for a career or a job or even a business. I'm looking for money to make me money. Right here, this was gonna be the last deal I was gonna do. And this guy had the same idea I had. This was one big house and it was a shithole. And it had three or four entrances. And I said, man, we could make this into a multifamily. And that is exactly what they did. How much money did they put into it? I don't know. But there's a lot of houses in my town. Look, that's too big. Nobody in my town can afford this. The average income in my town is 35,000. Back in the day, you could buy shit like this and a lot less. Now, you buy that and you turn that into a four unit apartment building, okay? And sometimes people will say, well, how much is that gonna cost? I don't, I don't, I don't care. What does it matter, bro? You know, just do it, man. You just been over here watching movies? Breathing heavy.